the University of Connecticut. One of the top public universities in the nation, this campus holds over 30,000 students, undergraduates and graduates alike. With great success comes a dark secret though. Parking on campus has become a nightmare. So we sent a team out to investigate this. We sat down with four students in the library to ask them what they had to say about the nightmares and atrocities going on at their own school. So tell me, how has parking affected you financially? Financially? I tell my kids, uh, I can't, can't pay for school, can't even get them Lunchables, uh, can't pay for their child support. So uh, it's, financially, it's a burden, it's huge. You know, parking in the garage when you can't find parking, it's really tough financially. Um, well, I have, let's see, three that I rotate throughout the week. Wow, that's, that's substantial. And uh, how long have you been parking here? Um, since my freshman year, so three years now. Three years at however much that is, that must set you back on top of your student loans. Oh, it truly does. Yes, it's, my, it's not good for my financial future. And that's going to affect you in the long term. Definitely. So uh, you, you seem a little bit out of breath. <sighs> yeah, sorry, I had to walk a really long way to get here. It's tough, man, it's tough. So the price of parking here has affected you so much that you actually have to walk. Yeah, I can't afford the $17,000 a year that it is for a parking pass, so I actually park in Coventry, and I have to walk the whole way. I mean, it's the only place that has free parking around here. Wouldn't it be much simpler for you to take a bus? Uh, you know, I would, but the transportation system is so bad. It's, you have to wait six hours in order to get one bus to go to another bus station. It's just, it's, it's difficult, you know? It weighs heavy on me, it weighs heavy on my life. We just can't do it anymore. And I've also heard that previous years of parking have set people back so far that they can't even afford bus passes because they paid for parking. <sighs> yeah, it's tough. I got a parking pass 18 years ago, and I'm still paying off the loans for that. It's it's been it's been a tough. It's been a long haul so far to get this to you. So, can you tell me a little about your injury that you sustained from parking? Yeah, so I was driving, and I drove into the parking lot, and I actually hit a deer in the parking lot. It hurt my hand now, so that's where we're at. So now you're paying medical bills for that? I am paying medical bills and on, everything. On top of your parking? On top of my parking and, of course, the tuition here. Of course. So now I heard you had to sell your car to I pay. I did. Yes, I had to sell my car. I do not have a car anymore, so I have a parking pass, but no car. And how long have you been parking here? Uh, this is my uh, fifth year at UConn. Um, so yeah, about five years of parking at UConn. So that's about $42,000 in parking. Wow. During our interviews, our hidden cameras located a construction site, which appeared to actually be on top of a parking lot. We went in to investigate whether or not this was truly the case, that the campus had tore down a parking lot in order to build a building. Now I'm here on site at a construction area. Apologies for the noise, it's very loud, but this used to be W lot on campus and now it has been completely paved over. This parking lot held 6,000 students at one point and UConn has ignored that and destroyed it all and replaced it with this building. If you see over here, we'll pan our camera to direct construction work. This is absolutely inhumane and a disgusting act by the university. We decided to go in the field to meet with a parking expert who had been parking at UConn for 17 years, Jimbo Maxwell. So Jimbo, you've been parking here the past 17 years. You're what we would call a Yukon parking expert. Can you tell us how parking has deteriorated over the years here? Yeah, so uh, let me tell you, parking here used to be a cinch. It used to be so simple, you know, you'd come here. Most of the time, parking was even free. But in the past couple of years, that you know, they've, they've bumped up the prices. I think the average cost for students is around $17,000. Uh, you know, I myself get a, a, a professional staff discount of about uh, $1, so it's about $16,099. But, you know, let me tell you, they're knocking down buildings to put more parking, but they're not giving the kids the proper prices for parking spots. It's a, it's a f***ing catastrophe. We followed around this car in a parking lot to see how bad it truly was. He circled for 45 minutes trying to find a spot before eventually giving up, as you are seeing right here, and leaving the parking lot. 
So I've just been informed that the actual parking spot size has shrunk over the past 15 years at Yukon. Can you give us a little bit of statistics behind that? Yeah, absolutely. So when I first got here around 17 years ago, you know, you used to be able to park a, a Mack truck in these things. Nowadays, they're shrinking them and, and it just exponentially it's going to get to the point where I heard that the 20... 30 parking plan for, for parking spots is going to be about yay big. You know, you, you're not even going to be able to fit a f***ing matchbox car in there. There you have it, folks. That is the state of Yukon parking. It has truly become something solely for the elites. As we can have an example, this right here is Dan Hurley's car. Susan Herbst. Kevin Ollie as well. He still parks here for some reason. We're not exactly sure why. Yukon parking is in the worst state of its life that it has ever been. And you can help. Please visit our website, yukonsucksitparking.com, and donate a small fee of $10,000, which is $7,000 cheaper than your parking ticket. With that fundraising, we can work together to build a new future of Yukon Parking. Thank you very much.